And that's gone. A big deflection there. It's a good piece of bowling by Ghana. And Australia, 2 for 26 now with Border, Port Marie, a good catch, sharp run away to his left hand side. And And he's uh, peeled against for a caught behind. He's out, caught behind. Out for 92. So Bruce Laird goes. Disappointment. Eight short of what would have been a landmark for him. A fine innings ended. Caught Murray. Bull Garner. And here's the deserving reception for him as he returns. So Garner from the members' end. Perfection, and that's a great catch. What a magnificent catch by Derek Murray. Beautiful bit of wicket keeping, and a vital wicket for the West Indians. And what a great catch by a captain. First time as captain of the West Indies, taking a beautiful leg side catch. Moved quickly, he was wide of the off stump. Great anticipation, and a beautiful catch. Magnificent catch. What a great catch by Vivian Richards. Magnificently taken. And just 21 years of age. And he's taken it. Beautiful catch. He's in the action. Michael Marshall scooping up a beautiful catch. Diving forward and uh, swooping on that ball. And he's right in the action there to break the partnership. Good catch this. Uh, the young man substitute diving forward. He works hard at his batting. He bats a lot in the nets. He's tall and likes to get on the front foot. But just to me, he appears to be always at fraction weight. He's out. A magnificent catch by Lawrence Rowe. Mallet hitting square of the wicket. And Rowe throwing himself to his right. Took a magnificent catch, in my word. The West Indians are on fire. He's gone. Out, leg before wicket, Ghana strikes, Laird, leg before for 36. And four for 83, the Australian score. Oh, oh. Joe Ghana has uh, picked up another wicket there. Kim Hughes, OBW for 11. And Australia now five for 98. This is the 46th over. That's a nick and he's gone out, caught by Vivian Richards. Well, that was a pretty orthodox catch for Vivian Richards and he took it so nonchalantly, straight to him, made no mistake. So Rod Marsh on his way back to the pavilion. And that's it. The, the Yorker right through him. And uh, an important innings from Bruce Yardley. 850s and 600s and an average of 34. Oh, and there's a big appeal. He's given out. He's out. Caught behind. Well, that's the breakthrough the West Indians needed and Australia could have done without. An outside edge from Wood there. A good bit of bowling by Joel Garner and well taken by wicketkeeper Murray who gets a little pat on the head from Backus. Well bowled. He's bowled him. That's a beautiful Yorker. Well, he's been trying for a while to slip one through the guard of Yardley, and that was a magnificent one, right up in the block goal, at pace, and back goes the middle stump. The West Indians needed that wicket, because Yardley was a danger man in this situation, and that was the perfect Yorker. Middle stump, and Yardley departs for 12, but he certainly made some contribution towards the score at this stage. That's beautifully bowled, he's reasonably wide, and there goes the middle peg, straight back. Forced to take it to the ground. What a good ball. One that comes back from outside off stump. Beautiful piece of bowling that from Ghana. And now the Australians deep in trouble. Still need 45 to save the follow-on. Well, two fine pieces of cricket. First up, Hughes getting Ghana away for four and then Ghana retaliating. A beautiful ball that came in and collected the off stump. And that's That's it. He's out. Call it second slip. Lloyd just moving from first slip, just behind Greenwich at second to take the catch. And Dyson goes, waiting for the decision. Let's have a look at it. Well, it's one of those ones where you jam down. Oh, 
Well bowled. Joel Garner has done it again. He's got through Yardley's defence. And the West Indies getting right back into this game. The bowler's giving the batsman a chance now. Tremendous delivery there from Joel Garner. And once again, you get a very good idea of the cut that Joel Garner has got out of the wicket this morning. Tremendous off cutter from the big bird. Rattles Bruce Yardley's leg stump. A very disappointed Bruce Yardley leaves the scene. And Australia in a bit of strife now. Eight for 383. But uh, I got a bit of benefit from opening up my stance. What a great test that is by Bacchus. That short leg. The West Indies have broken through twice now. Marsh and Hughes, the overnight not out batsmen, have gone. That one to a very sharp catch by Faye Bacchus. And West Indies right back in the game. It's a chance. It's got him. Yes, they're out. All out to 386. Australia lead by 235 runs, so the West Indians need 236 runs for victory. What Wood will do about it? Lloyd, great catch. Great catch. And well bowled by Garner. He put that man out there at square. Wood wasn't sure if the short one was going to come. Got the one round about off stump, cutting away. And that was a brilliant catch by Clive Lloyd, who's now taken two to dismiss the two Australians. Survival's the main aim now for the Australian batsmen. Start again tomorrow. The Vessels has been very watchful. Played very well indeed. For his 13 runs. He's hit the half ball in place that well. That's a good shot, but well caught. Beautifully caught in the gully there by Michael Holding. And that was pretty well hit. Kepler Vessels would be uh, considered a bit unlucky. Hit that right off the middle of the bat. But the tall man in the gully, Michael Holding, just dragging that catch in. Michael Holding is actually racing off the ground. Clive Lloyd has the first one again. Not a very good shot there from Kepler Vessels. He's gone. Joel Garner, despite no ball, no ball, no ball, has snapped up the first one. There's the Yorker, and that could be out. The edge from Wayne Phillips, an attempted Yorker, and quite comfortably taken by Wayne Phillips' opposite number, Geoffrey Dujon. So the first Australian wicket down this morning. Garner working hard for that wicket. He's been peppering Phillips outside that off stump with balls a little shorter than that one. He enticed Phillips into the drive. He wasn't across there. And what a good game Jeffrey Dujon's having. And there it is. Yes, I think that was very predictable. Right on target. And uh, when you're in the frame of mind of letting the ball go, most of the time, it's a bit difficult to get down on those. And didn't he set him up? Forced him back. The vessel's taking strike. And your commentators, Ian Chappell and Frank Tyson. Oh, and he's let it go, and it's hit off stump. And uh, really, Kepler Vessels, very conscious of not edging that ball into the slips, has made a bad error of judgment. Well, Garner bowls now to Kim Hughes. There's the hook. And there's the fielder, and he's out caught. Off the hook shot, Kim Hughes goes for it once more. Malcolm Marshall takes the catch, and Kim Hughes, for the second time in the series, is caught at long leg off the hook. The second Australian batsman today to go to the shot. Four for 81. And then he follows it up with a Yorker, and a very accurate Yorker he has got. He's polished off some tail enders with that Yorker in his time. It's absolutely deadly in its accuracy. It always hits the leg stump. Joel Garner, the bowler. He's gone! Yes, he's out! First ball! That's for Dujon. And the runabout for Kim Hughes and Australia continues. A beautiful piece of bowling, but what a superb catch. Everybody hoping for Kim Hughes to succeed, 
He's failed, and Australia in real trouble at three for 91. And he's gone. He's out, caught behind. A huge nick there. Lawson standing his ground. But that is a big edge and taken beautifully by Dujon. Having to jump high in the air. And so Lawson, after a tremendously courageous innings, getting a standing ovation here, out for 49. It's in the air and he's gone. Beautifully taken there by Harper. Diving away to his right. No mistake at all. He never looked as if he was going to do anything other than catch that. That ball just outside off stump. And what magnificent hands he's got. Yes, all of the West Indian fieldsmen seem to be pretty adept at catching. This was a good delivery. Boone followed it. It moved off the wicket. And look how far the bat is from Boone's body when he makes contact. He did that in Brisbane as well. Falling in similar fashion to an equally brilliant catch by Michael Holding. But that was a beauty. Which is standard procedure these days. And that's got to be close, yes. Graham Wood is on his way. That ball certainly wasn't bouncing very high. It was just a matter of whether it pitched in line. And Stephen Randell was quite happy that it pitched in line. So Graham Wood on his way, LBW to Ghana. That's off the glove, I think. Beautifully taken by Geoffrey Dujon. And umpire Steve Randall signifies that, yes, it did come off the glove. And that was a quicker delivery from Joel Garner. And it got a little bounce. But a magnificent catch from Jeffrey Dujon. Fieldage 12. Vessels facing. Not yet off the mark. Oh, and he's gone. Joel Garner has knocked the off stump right out of the ground. He did the same thing up in Brisbane. But on that occasion, Kepler Vessels wasn't playing a shot. On this occasion, he was beaten by a beautiful off-cutter. Uh, I would imagine that he'll be hoping that that changes his luck with the bat. Down a really charging in, and it's out. First ball, he's got him LBW. And Joel Garner is now on a hat-trick. He's picked up three wickets in five balls, and the Australian innings is in tatters. On, off stump goes right out of the ground. So, David Boone is out one short of his 50. Comprehensively bowled by the Big Bird. Well, he was giving himself room. Had been for most of the morning. Looking to run that ball down to third man. up and it's straight and Botham's trying to smash it over the top of the boundary through the gate it goes and up goes one of those stumps and he's uh, field against for a court behind he's out caught behind cut shot ball Murray went down took the catch came for it Botham remained there and eventually the umpire gave him up there it is the batsman is concerned as to whether it carried and Probably just got there. Good catch, but. Hold him. So Roger is out. In Pakistan in further trouble now. 4 4 34 with Raja. Bowled by Ghana for one. Real good delivery, that. Pitched well up. No problem there with the pitch. Just with the eyesight and the footwork. And Pakistan now 4 for 34. To Mohsen Khan. And that's out. Yes, finally, just a straight through. Joel Garner getting the edge and Clive Roy taking a safe catch at first hook. Uh, between being in form and out of form. Mohsen out of form, flashing at this ball out the off stump getting a thin edge and it goes at comfortable catching height to Clive Lloyd at first slip so Mosin is out caught at first slip with his total at six one wicket down now